I'm gonna struggle opening my teeth for a while. Everything. vacation that we did here uh, we've been working a lot so me my mom and Maria decided to just go on like a tiny vacation this is an intro to not the place that we're at right now we're actually gonna film that here in just a little bit but as you can see I'm very 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 red because <laughs> I got burned yesterday at the beach typical me this video is a little bit of a recap of what we did closer to like the first month that we were here. The beginning of it is closer to the first month of when we were here. And then um, the rest of it is closer like a couple months ago or a month ago. So first place you will see, or the first thing that you'll see is the Bad Bunny concert. Tell me the more I see you, the more I could be. Wanna be now, maybe all you need to get to me. <laughs> concert i went to miami bash last no 2017 and that was like the big concert i'm gonna count it as a festival though because it wasn't necessarily like a concert but it was amazing a bit i tried to put everything in there but i didn't want to get copyrighted so i probably still will but here we are don't copyright me bad bunny i love you 
part. The second part that you're gonna see is the zoo that we went to, which actually I have information on it right here. So the zoo is called Rescate Animal Zoo Ave. Right now, we are at a zoo in, we're in La Garita. It's called Rescate, what is it called? Um, Rescate, Rescate Animal de, Zoo. De animales rep, okay. reptiles. Because this will be my first time seeing my favorite animal in the world, which is a sloth. <laughs> it is an urban park of approximately 34 acres, that's what it says. So it's about 34 acres located in La Garita. It includes the largest collection of bird species. My mom was looking at me so it made, it made me nervous. It has the largest collection of bird species in Latin America. What that place is for, if you can't tell by the name, is um, it rescues animals and rehabilitates them. Majority toucans or tucans, because if you know toucans have that beak, that's actually very, very beautiful and colorful. People will cut that off. And, you know, that actually helps the bird with like finding food and protecting itself. And without it, it's like us without hands, my guy. Like, what are we gonna do? They also have sloths, which is, if anybody will ever knows, is my favorite animal in the entire world. So that's one of the main reasons that we went was because I wanted to see a sloth. Last place that we went to, it's a sanatorium. Um, for those who don't know what that means, it's a type of hospital. It is rated most haunted place in Costa Rica, Duran Sanatorium near Cartago. Built in 1915 by Dr. Carlos Duran, the sanatorium's location was deemed to be ideal for those suffering from consumption. It operated as a hospital for tuberculosis patients for many years, as well as an asylum for the mentally ill after 1963. The sanatorium ceased... Hi. My mom looked at me, so it made me nervous. Okay, uh, the sanatorium ceased to be operational since tuberculosis was no longer an issue and the mental illness could be treated in bigger, more humane hospitals. For a while, the place operated as an orphanage um, and then later it was turned into both a maximum and minimum security prison. Then it shut down permanently in 1973.
What's the best way to put this? You know how they say if walls could talk? Those walls don't talk, they scream. They're yelling with just everything. Like you can feel how heavy it is there. And if, I, I'm sorry, if my voice is like really weird, it's, my throat started hurting out of nowhere, so. It was such a feeling and it was ridiculous. Just w walking in there, walking through the parts that we were allowed to walk in, I felt such a, not like a need to cry, but like, a need to breathe because I couldn't something I felt like something was just like grasping my lungs and wasn't allowing me to breathe and everybody's like eh, it could be the air it could be the altitude like you're just not used to being that high I beg to differ when you're as open to things like that like that's the problem if you're a skeptic you don't believe then your mind is very much closed off to these ideas that's perfectly fine but your chances of actually experiencing something are gonna be more slim than anything else um, because everything that does happen you justify very quickly so um something knocked on the door you're just gonna think that the wood's creaking or something like that i am very much open-minded to it and it's not that anything happened like oh my god somebody pushed me it's just the feeling of like agony that you get there the feeling of just pain and suffering there it was kind of crazy I say crazy because it's a lack of a better word. Like, I don't have a good word to put it. It's depressing there. Although it's in a beautiful location, it's just depressing there. Because, I mean, back then tuberculosis was a really big thing. And that's actually the reason why Duran um, opened up the facility was because his daughter had um, tuberculosis and wanted her to be treated at home, home being Costa Rica. And so he made his own sanatorium here. Anybody can go visit it. It's open all during the day. It used to be open during the night, but nobody allows that anymore. Me and Maria both went. I want to go again. Now, I didn't film too much about this location because it just felt disrespectful to film. I want to go back to film, but it's so hard to film in there because you really just don't want to. Like, something is just kind of like, do quit and just like feel what's happening right now. Don't film it. That's a little bit about, about what this video is about. Um, I also took a little bit more of the editing turn on this one and I really like the way it, it turned out So if you like the way it turned out as well, please let us know I want to know if you know you guys like seeing stuff like that if you prefer to talk more Which I highly doubt it because I feel like we talk enough in each video If you want us to go visit somewhere, I know that right now The place that we're in we're actually getting ready to film is Huckle so we're in a hotel in Huckle right now. Um, I know that soon we're going to be going to La Fortuna, so please look forward to that. My mom's looking at me again. But we're going to we're going to be going to La Fortuna, so please look forward to that. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, ring the bell if you haven't already. Uh, like this video if you've ever been burned and you know how this feels and you feel the pain that I'm feeling right now, because uh, sis, I need the support. But other than that, I thank you so much, my lovelies. I love you. Even if you're new here to the family, welcome. And I'll see you guys later. So, see you guys soon. Pura Ciao.